for joining me again. In this video I'm going to be doing some more um, animation work. Okay. Uh, in the last video I made I was actually talking about, well I, I did a fighting uh, like picture with two uh, sword fighters fighting each other. And in the beginning I was actually going to, I was going to like talk, show you like some methods I use for animation, like using the same method to do um, like using the silhouette scribble sketches like and make them into animation animations basically by doing that frame by frame um, I didn't get around to it <laughs> I just spent more time on the actual picture and made it into one and I've been doing that with quite a few pictures recently but in this one in this uh, video you're watching now I'm going to try to just really um, do that okay I'm going to really try and do something like that so let's go let's just do it now okay I'm going to use a black brush I'm going to use this type of brush again if you want to know what brush it is don't worry exactly just look at whatever brushes suit you in terms of the brushes you have in whatever software you use you can use Photoshop if you like to use Photoshop you can do animation in Photoshop right I know the new the new versions of um, Manga Studio which is called a uh, Moho now yeah uh, that you uh, sorry no it's called uh, sorry Clip Studio Clip Studio so yeah Anime Studio um, is now Moho, and Manga Studio is Clip Studio Paint, or just Clip Studio. Uh, they're both paid products. Um, if you will, you know, if you're looking for like a free animation software that's um, similar to, uh, you know, um, Anime Studio, which mainly focuses on like rigged characters, uh, the rigged kind of animation, 2D, uh, but using like bones and stuff. Uh, a free good one is uh, Open Tunes. Look for that spelled with a Z. Okay, with a Z. You know, open Tunes. Another one is um, Anime Effects or Effects. Okay, I've actually um, uploaded a very long um, video for you guys on that. It's like a basically a tutorial, kind of long-winded um, and I ramble, but it covers more or less everything in the software. So just check it out. Okay, big long tutorial seminar on Anime Effects. You can also uh, uh, download that for free, uh, just as uh, Open Tunes. Open Tunes is much better though. But yeah, manga's uh, anime studio is great. But when it comes to art and making comics, uh, definitely the two best ones that I've liked is Fire Alpaca, which is for, which is free, and you can do some animation in it, or um, uh, Clip Studio, which is just amazing. You can have three D figures in there too but I have the old version of Clip Studio and it's called Manga uh, Manga Studio basically um, yeah and um, it, my one you can't do animation in it um, but yeah you can do animation in Photoshop uh, you can use various software there's, a, there's another um, animation software called Toon Boom out there for animation too if you look into animation um, for, but like for frame animation, I mean, there's a simple one called Pencil 2D, but that's not really that you know great or anything. Um, there's so many good art software, but let's just get into this again. I love Critter. I think Critter's great. For me, I use Critter, or I use um, a Fire Alpaca. But Critter's the best because it's got like so much you can do in it, and it's got these um, the timeline. <laughs> let's do this. Okay, let's get on with this. I guess I've got a black pen. I don't want to bore myself to sleep here, I want to keep myself living the dream. So I'm going to turn down the opacity of the layer so that it comes out like fairly faint. The name of this brush is Ink 8 Sumi Sumi E. Okay, Ink 8 Sumi E. I don't know what that means, but this is the name of the brush. It's one of the brushes that come with the new critter. And uh, yeah, I'll just come in like this and I'll do a, a random shape, but I love all these um shapes it gives. Now when I do like random scribbles like this, you've got the pressure and stuff too, like when I push harder it's thicker, when I go thin, when I go lightly it goes with thin layers, you know. But I like I like this kind of method where you know I, I also learned this by watching like various concept artists when they do like various shapes and um, they'll just try and find something in the chaos of it all they say. Um, you can also adjust the um, opacity of the brush, which will give you more detail in some way, but you're not working as such with just 
a um, silhouette then it, it may come in really handy because you may see more details and, st and stuff that you might not see if it, if it had been like I'm seeing something there because because it's overlapping itself let me just give you an example I can see something here I just go to my normal pen like a black pen okay but in here it's just basic one big small it's called basic one big small make it a thin and look what I'm looking at here I can see this shape you put the opacity of the layer down slightly but I can see this here um, well, this shape here looks like a, a cape or maybe like a, a jacket or something there's like a character looks like he's running or something there's some character running here yeah I can see like a leg and I can see a foot. It's just crazy. Like, if I was sitting here by myself, just thinking, I would. I may not think about doing this, you know. But I can see these shapes. You know, I can see these shapes when I'm looking at, at it like this. You know, put a pocket in here, maybe. You know, and um, yeah, I can just do this, maybe something like that, even. Just change it a little, you know suit my needs and then just you know but yeah just do a rough picture there um do that spiky hair or something here and this is what i can see in there you see that's what i can see and you can see why because the cape the cape or the you know the um coat or whatever was actually long i mean i mean, I mean it was actually darker not long sorry i mean darker you see let's move this across now move the pencil line can you see that can you see in there? Have a look. Can you see that? If your eyeballs, no, can you, we just delete that because it'll show you. See, look. All I need to do is I could, I could go straight back in here. I could choose the same brush I just had even, and just turn this into some kind of pencil sketch or some kind of painting. I mean, like, let me just go into here, select the the brushes, and just like, sorry, no, excuse me. Ah, uh, I'll go with the black then. Oh, the black, like, uh, sorry, this brush, right, yeah, this brush. And I'll go with, like, this brush, and I'll go low opacity, gradually work the opacity and start shading it in, and smaller for certain details and stuff, you know. And it's just uh, amazing what you can do. Look, I can really, like, shade, I could go in with a shape like this, I know I'm kind of messing it up, but you know what I mean? I can do all this stuff. Anyway, like make a silhouette like with various texture, like not like all one um, texture. I'm leaving some areas light and some areas dark, you see. I can choose the lights there, and I can choose different colours if I wanted to. And just start working in some light, like decide where there's going to be a light from the side or something like that and I could make like a painting. I know I'm going off the rails here, I should be doing the animation, hold on. <laughs> you know what I mean? I could do like shadows and like lights and stuff like that. You know, and just work it out. Or I could just go in with like a thick pen even and just start to do it that way, you know. And just go in there. This is like really going in though for like the darkest areas, but you know, yeah, put like a strong shadow or so, you know. I wanted to. It's not a perfect example, but you see what I'm saying though. You can, like, you can see detail that you may not usually see. Okay, so let's go in what, what I was saying. So when you're working with this brush, you can have like I usually turn the opacity of the layer down, and I can do this. And I can like overlap. See, I could do this kind of stuff. We I mean, look at this. When I've got these different layers like, overlapping each other. You can create some amazing effects. You could come up with some kind of painting scene or something. I mean, look at this. I can see things here, it's like a forest or something, or a high up. And I can see maybe the sea down here. This is amazing how the detail you can actually see. That's a bit too dark now, but I'm going to have the. Okay, have that. Okay, this is the sea. Okay. And we're pretty high up, so I'm just going in here now, working that texture, shading it the same way as I would if I was using like a, a pencil, let's say, you know, in real life. 
And we're doing these doing we've got some grass here. See can you see this? And I think it's just absolutely amazing how you can do this. I really I love it. It's just amazing. It's incredible. So I'm okay, we'll doing some shapes down there below as well. Just putting the shapes out you see. Working the light. I'm not having any lines but like you see just working the light. I can even choose some white and pretend that they are waves on the sea, you see, like here. Something like that coming in there, you know. And I can even maybe make some like clouds in the sky, like just paint the sky a little bit, you know, to show those lighter areas, making sure that it's lighter than everything else there, you know. And uh, yeah, I think it's just amazing, I really do. Did I tell you I thought it was amazing? Also, I can go in there and choose my blending brush, maybe. Just ex experiment, don't worry, experiment. Just try different things, you know. Use the blending brush here, look, and I'm blending shapes together to make certain areas softer where they're too strong. Just so they blend in okay and make everything stand out okay. So you've got a balance between the sharp areas and the soft areas, because we want to make sure that it all reads to the eye much better, okay. And uh, let me just do something. I'm going to... With this now, I can uh, I can also bring it up, of course, like that. But it doesn't always work too well. You may want to have, like play with the contrast a little bit. So bringing the level the levels down or up, you know, just playing with those levels. I think the reason it's not working very well is because it's on one layer. I can just quickly duplicate this, move this up uh, here. Perfect. Okay. Where is that down with that? So it's got a background to it and it can merge with that and play with that. Okay, so I do that. It's not perfect, but you get the idea. Play with that a little bit. If I was to put some colour on that, you'd really see some some uh, detail, you know. Nothing too amazing, but you get the idea. See, I can put some colour on top of that. If I just choose my normal brush, go onto another layer, make it uh, an overlay just quickly with the blue. Okay, with the blue. Maybe colour, maybe overlay, uh, maybe uh, colour maybe better. Go to colour. Okay, we're going to just do that for a darker one, I think. Darker steel. Yeah, and just go in here, see, and just have some fun with it. Go to the green. Just promote a very dark green would be better. Certain areas where there may be grass. But we're gonna play with that until we get different kinds of colours and just see what works. I'm gonna put some grey in there anyway, so some grey for the rocks, you know, here. Um, some very dark green here. Doesn't even look like green but it is green just make a little scene up and yeah that's all you really need I don't need much more that's really it you know and it's really really it though this here can maybe like a I don't know why it's a bit too whatever for me but okay go in here now I can merge this down with this play with the whatever even the color adjustment even curves just fine whenever I come up it's just teaching myself to see different shapes, you know. Not a very good one, but at least you get the idea of how I'm using these brushes, you know. So now let me just work. So that's talking about layering the brushes, okay. We can just have full opacity, 100%, so no transparency, yeah. We can have like 100% transparency, 100% uh, opacity, that's the opposite of transparency, basically. Uh, on your um, for your brush, okay. You just uh, if you bear with me for one second, I want to get some tissue. Hold on, let's clean some mess off my screen. You know, try and keep your your screens, uh, you know, clean. Obviously, you got to take care of your equipment. You must take care of your things. This is your station. You know, this is your station where it's all stop and all go. You know. <laughs> Bear with me for one second guys, I'm going to give this a good wipe down later on as well. 
Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some frames right now. I'm going to show you some frame using the character the uh, brushes. But I'm going to use the black again. So we're black, full opacity, but we're going to turn down the opacity of the layer so it comes across fairly light. Another way of doing that is just simply not using black but using a grey colour. But I'm just going here, see it's even too dark, so I'm turning, I can adjust this by bringing down the opacity. Now what I can do is I can draw a character, I can start with the head and then work a shape for a body. Or try to find a body in that say. It's like a random kind of shape. You see. Now already I can see a shape of, of a person there. I can see some something there, like a person. It looks like someone is standing there, you know. Now the question is, once I've figured this character out, what's it going to be in the next scene? What's it going to look like in the ne in the next clip? I mean, that is the question. Okay, so you know, so let's have a look. Go to the next frame and turn on the onion skin. <laughs> and then raise up the opacity a little bit so we can see the one previous to it. And I want to just make this character like turn around or something. So I can see what I'm looking at. It's like an arm and a head. It's not going to be exactly the same when I do this, obviously. Let's make it more fun. Let's give this first one some weapons or something. I'm seeing a guy there holding a sword, is what I'm seeing. Okay. So now the guy's on the side, okay, like this. Okay. I'm kind of like sketching from what I was already seeing, you see, in the previous one. You see, I'm, I'm using more or less the same shapes as what I had sort of seen in the in the previous image. Now the next one, I'm going to make it a bit more different, even still. I'm going to make these kind of like shoulder pads I'm seeing on this person here. This is the back of the head. And this arm, it's an arm, and I'm going to make it like he's holding the sword there. So not perfect, I'm just really, really roughly sketching, okay? And this other leg is just coming across here now. And, uh, you know, let's just imagine, okay, that uh, that's how he's going, okay? Let's imagine the other arm's raised high now and he's got his sword like that. I don't know why it's, that's, it's a bit too much, a bit too much, I think. Let's let him raise the arm, you can see. It's not perfect, let's move the arm. Down. Because he's like, you can't raise it that, that, that quick, okay? So there. One, two. You know, and uh, that's how you basically work with it, you know. Let's say the next one I'm going to have some crazy position. Like he's moved over here. I'm just really just roughing the shapes in, okay? I'm not even bothering them with too much detail at all but he's looking back yet in the other direction so what I would do is uh, first of all I'd do that in the right order so let's make sure that's right one two three four you can check out how he's playing right from the word go one two three four check how it looks okay um, the raise you think you don't want turn down the opacity now and also turn off the onion skins and go on to another layer and you want to leave the onion skins off too and just go to the first frame and choose your your pen normal pen okay and just look in that and just draw and you could just do your first character first to make sure that your design's okay for the first image i mean or you could just work with them as you go so i'm going to do this i can see a face in here not in this room <laughs> That would be creeping the shit out of me, but I can see a, a face here. I can see like a face shape, and so I can start using that. But I can also see another kind of shape as well. So it's like it's like different ways I can work. I can also see some kind of collar part here, and a face in here, and some kind of strange helmet on his head. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make this a round shape. I'm going to ignore the rest of it and just make it like that. Then from here, I can see these big shoulder pad things here. Okay, I can see them here. 
and there's a there's a like a jacket or something here like some strange jacket he's wearing so I'm just gonna do that it's just I don't know who the hell he is maybe he's a debt collector go damn it put, put a simple face in there really simple just for now and then I can just work the arms and imagine where the shoulders are inside of here the rest of it he's got kind of thin arms and now the arms are going to imagine because the hands are going to be down here so let's imagine okay that this is the uh, sword he's holding this big bladed weapon okay something like that right? I kind of messed it up a little bit but you get the idea that you draw it in my goal really is not again not to spend too long on this uh, image really but you get the idea what I'm saying yeah so sometimes you can just work with really really simple um, uh, um, scribble like sketches as well if you want to sometimes so I'm going in here I'm just trying to do as simply as possible I think what it is is because he's uh, he's like uh, Hold on, I'm trying to work this out myself. It's the position of his arms that I've drawn in the wrong angle. Mm -hmm. See, so it's still because you're using this thing as a reference, as I say. Hang on. And the thing is, the point is, you can't always just use it as a reference. You have to change things. Sometimes you must change things. So by that what I mean is I may need to cut it or erase it and draw it again. This here, can you see for example here, I may need to change this and move it like down here or something like the angle to make it make sense a bit better. See. So I'll come in here and I will start to draw. And you may want to zoom in, you may want to just keep it zoomed out. You know, it depends on you really what you want to do. And you just sort of use your imagination. Okay, so let's go in here. Okay, good. Boom, boom. Takes a bit of understanding of the anatomy. Okay, fair enough. I'll, I'll, I'll grant them that. <laughs> Whoever's wondering. Yeah. You know, so I'll put that there. It sure does. I'm going to put this here, okay. Oh great, okay now. It seems to me that we've got a problem with the arm already, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ignore that after all. I'm gonna just put it my own way. I'm just gonna do a weapon here like this. I don't care now. Because it's just I could have moved the arm and then done the blade over here. I've decided to do it this way because I can't be bothered. You, you have to do what you feel is right. See even here, see I'm using this as an idea. I'm using this here, okay, let's imagine, I'm going to put the blade here, see, I'm going to just do this here, something like this, it's not perfect, but I'm just doing this, I'm trying to like work it my own way, you know, that's just messed it up, so let's just, see, what you might want to do is you may want to just come in here first, and um, let's see, Put the thumb here, right? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, and then the rest of it is like there. And he's holding it. Okay, I'm just going to do a rough kind of. Again, it's like a silhouette kind of shape anyway, so. I'm going to make that like. Let me see, he's holding it like that. That's wrong already. The thumb should be on the other side. Because you have to look at your own hand sometimes and think about how he's holding that weapon there. The elbow's there, that's the reason. Okay, let's try this. I'm looking at my own hand here, trying to work this out. Maybe you're very good at drawing. I'm just going to put this here first, and then draw the blade. Draw the weapon. Okay. And then let's work out where this goes. So, one hand's over this. Yeah, it's definitely something along those lines. <laughs> I'm just going to have it like that rough just for now, okay? Can't be bothered. So, have it there. Yeah, something like that, okay? Just really simple. 
put the rest of the fingers, draw them as one finger. You want to see, I'm not really that good at anatomy, as I've said before. I'm not very good at drawing anatomy, but I understand the basics. But there we go. Now, let's zoom out. That's going to have to do just for now for this rough one. Okay, so I can actually see yeah, that one of the legs, if I put a quick belt on this guy, some kind of big belt, I can see that one leg is actually coming forward and the other one is back here. When I was drawing this, when I was sketching the under sketch, I wasn't thinking about that, I wasn't thinking about that, you know. I was just freely drawing, freely just making some lines and then I just, from the first one I got a better idea of where, um, the arms are, the head and everything, you know, and I just decided from there, you know, on, when I did the next picture, I decided to, you know, work with that and have that, okay, so, i do the other hand about there as well, just have the two blades, and this guy is there in his jacket thing, I remember the outfit he's wearing, a jacket and a, um, a belt thing he's got, his, his legs stepping forward, we don't know if he's wearing boots or anything, we can't really see. This collar thing he has there, right, the, the side parts to this and the top part of the helmet. You have to kind of remember your rough design. Very simple face. And then going into the next one, one, two, you see? And you, you can like do this and then you can draw better on top of your sketches if you wanted to if you wanted to you can actually do a much um, better one even still you know uh, draw better art you could do these as rough sketches or you could just fix these up a little bit you know and do better so there we go there's the back of the guy's arms there okay good ball takes a little bit of understanding, you know, of the um, anatomy, let's say. Boom, boom, see? Uh, yeah, okay, so that's going to be there. I think I've got the wrong arm there, right? <laughs> okay, let's just go to the other arm with it. Across quickly, we'll be okay. Quickly, boom, boom, boom. And then, then. okay, good. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to have this blade. So I could have had it a bit smaller because it's like pointed away from us at the perspective. But it doesn't matter. See, and I think this is a very effective way of doing some animation. Either however way you want to look at it for like anima animation practice. Or just, I mean, animation. I mean, you can do stuff like this. Put some colour in. Clean up your sketches even. And just, you know, have some nice little st stuff, you know. Put some colour in. Let's do the next one now, and it's the last one, okay? The last image. And then what I do is I simply add some colour behind them usually. Okay? I'm going to put this here, and it can be really fun practice because once you get like a character design in your mind, uh, in your, what, in your, from your design, you can actually then practice you know, drawing that character from different angles and looking at the clothes and looking at him and everything, and really trying to imagine what this person looks like and that's very very useful because it's going to help you um, you know for becoming better at drawing characters in general I found in general any characters like I'm saying so you've got to be loose and be able to sketch like really loosely you know and all that I'm going to put this here Okay, being really loose, you can tidy up as you go, just erase things, really like go over it if you want to, you know, just fix it, you don't have to follow the, the thing exactly, you know, and there we go, and now I'm going to, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to get rid of this one, the sketch thing, okay, below what we had, and just go one, two, three, four, see, and from here, I could move another layer below it, and you must already set up an amount of frames. In this case, we have only four frames to deal with. Pretty simple. I'm going to just highlight all of those by holding Shift on the keyboard and then left clicking from the start to the finish to the end one. Click on the first one and hold Shift, and then go to the end one and click. 
left click can now right click and go to remove keyframe no remove frame and pull it will take away all those extra ones not just the one going to the first one here we need to add some colors so let's just add some very very simple easy colors just very quickly i'm going to work on one layer just to be very very fast and rough okay so i'm going to just come in here i'm not going to bother with any shading no shading i'm just going to do it really simple okay very very quickly the arms but all the skin every, everything that's one color i'm just going to work with them really quickly okay kind of rough you know how i've done that uh, on there so excuse me um, okay on every frame first of all every frame and get that out of the way just really quickly everything that's the same color i'm going to do it very quickly see everyone okay really quick boom, boom, boom. okay that's, that's not a face that's the side of his helmet uh, same here not too much to do only the two arms the face we can't really see okay okay good and you know it's not amazing but it is amazing <laughs> i'm going to choose gray now okay i'm going to choose like a dark gray so what's well, his brown it's okay here for the shoulder pads we'll give him like another color we'll give okay brown here give him some brown areas here uh, I said I wasn't going to do shading but I tell you when you do put shading in it does make it look a lot better I'll say that okay so let me just quickly do this quickly everything for the trousers pants if you want to say pants I say trousers because I'm from the UK, but you know, I'm just going to do this here. That's the handle there. Okay, these shoulder pads. Try and keep things the same size as you can. Like they're a bit smaller here, they seem to be to me, but it's okay. In the first image, things were like very kind of exaggerated. Got to be kissy like this, but it's okay. You can like, adjust things if you want to anyway. And let's just go to that first one again. Choose the let me choose blue, just a dark blue, boring colour. For this guy, Mr. Tough. <laughs> I'll give him the same colour helmet and belt, just to be simple, and give a little bit of colour to those blades of his weapons, and we'll be more or less done. If you want to see how I can add some shading, I'll show you very, very quickly, like roughly as well. If you do like, because it does make it look better. It's just a case of basically setting a blending mode, and not for your layer, but a blending mode for your... Um, ah, I forgot the colour on the trousers, didn't I? Excuse me. I mean, uh, it's a, like a blending mode for the um, brush, because you can set blending modes for the brushes. It's really great. Not just blending modes for the uh, layers. So that's pretty really good, yeah. Let's, let's go. Now I'm going to do this here, okay? Red for the belts, red for the helmet as well. Let's have some fun with that. Good luck to the guy. In China, they say red is good luck. So <laughs> it's not a it's not a very nice, beautiful, bright red, but still, you know, it's still a red. Okay, let's do fill that in. Can't make sure you got all the areas. Oh, excuse me, all the areas coloured correctly. You don't want to see big changes or things that stand out you may notice them sometimes in your art but you gotta be careful you just make sure everything is like done right you can do black and white also if you want to do black and white it's up to you uh, do that built in a moment I know I missed something you just check out all of the um, layers to make sure they're okay and again you know as I say uh, you know another thing to remember is a uh, really is your own thing you know as, uh, as uh, Bob, Bob Ross always says you know it's, to <laughs> it's really up to you you know this is your world as he says <laughs> so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna I'm a massive fan of Bob Ross Bob Ross is great I think different kinds of painting different kinds of stuff but I love his stuff I want to try and do some more paintings like that myself when I can timeless legend absolute legend he's someone who knew how to live and you've got to have that passion in life you can't just i think it's a waste of life to just go to work every day and not make anything of your life you know art is not only for fun it's like an, an expression of a true understanding of the mind you know 
Okay, now, before we add the shadow on, let's just look at something, okay? The lines, if I turn the line layer now full opacity, you can see it's very strong black lines. It looks kind of ugly. If we were to tidy it up, it would be better, wouldn't it? One thing you could do is you could do this, or you could have just done, you could have drawn on top of that before I did the color. I could have just gone on another layer, and I could have just turned this down and just worked better art like on a new layer and just drew on top of that. And that would be the best way to do it and add the colors much more carefully too. But we're not going to do that, okay? What we're going to do is I'm going to play with these lines, bring them a little bit down, you see? Okay, like that. And that's going to be that. I'm going to merge these down there. Merge this layer down with that one. So it's one layer. It keeps the opacity like that. It's a full opacity layer, but the lines were semi-transparent when I put it on. Now what I'm going to do, before I add the shadow, I'm going to turn my normal pen here into a, a an eraser version of itself. And I'm just going to erase some of these rough edges that look really, really ugly. And clean a few areas up, just as we go. Just cleaning up the edges to make it look a little bit better. Just It's still a rough sketch, but just a little bit. Do it some justice, you know, because we've done this for this video. And it's not like a very amazing thing, a movement or whatever, but you get the idea, you know, you get the idea. I get the idea. I get the idea every day, all day. <laughs> How can you not have the idea? You know? Oh, God. Okay, so... That's that, Just fix it up so it looks a bit more presentable. Now go in here, I'm going to choose the, uh, uh, let me think about this, I'm going to choose like a, not a black and not a white, but like a grey sort of colour. And I'm going to go to my brush settings at the top here, for the blending modes for the brushes. And I'm going to choose, not overlay, I think, multiply, because that makes everything darker. So just multiply, and I've chosen a grey. And that's way too dark, so I need to choose like a more lighter grey. Just keep going between white and grey, okay? Choose a grey. Still a little bit too dark for me, so a little bit lighter. You'll be surprised, because it's multiply, and that makes everything very dark anyway. So I'm going to go here, and that looks okay to me. I'm going to put a shadow on the left-hand side. And um, you've got to be careful, because if you take the brush off, when you, if, you, if you do it this way, if you do decide to do it this way, it will um, overlap it the next time you put the um, pen down, okay? So just I'm just doing it this way here just quickly just, just to show you that's the only reason. Ah, another thing you may notice is it's going outside of the lines. What you want to do is really you want to click on this thing, look on your layers over here, click on the padlock, the one on the right here, and it will lock the what you have there so it will, won't go outside of the what you already have. And that's a very good way to do it, okay? Okay, so that's good. I'm going to do that. Go on to the next one. I'm going to do these ones very, very quickly. It's not a lot of work at all. It's very fast. Okay. Once you know what you're doing, just going along the lines carefully. There we go. Okay. Uh, this is a pretty dark scene here because... Not because of his back. I mean, the light's still the same. Wherever the light's shining, on the other side, wherever the sun is in this world, <laughs> in his world, you know, and that's where the sun is, you know. Yeah, and um, this is it, you know. This is this is he's the warrior warrior of the day. This guy, he's the warrior of the day, man. He is the warrior of the day. I don't know what he's doing, just turning around here, looking around. Maybe he dropped his keys or something. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he said, "Where are my keys?" I just dropped my keys down there while I was looking for enemies. Always look for the door. You're either going in or going out on the path. You're not. You shouldn't want to fight people only. Your only fight is no escape in martial arts. That's what we talk about. Okay, so there we go. Now, uh, because they're all one layer, which is just amazing, I'm going to unlock this because we need to kind of blur the edges as well. Uh, quickly uh, erase certain areas that I've gone over by accident here. Okay, clean up. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, blur, give a slight blur, a very slight blur to to the dude, very slightly. I'm going to have to do it on every um, layer as well it seems. Should I do it? I guess I don't really need to do it. I think I'll leave that. Okay, so now what I can do is um, uh, for the background, just really, really quickly, I can put like a sand and sky 
I'll just change this to look like a sand and, and a sky. Oh, we left it as multiply. Don't leave it as multiply. Turn your brush back to normal and uh, put some ground in, okay, like that. I'm not going to do an amazing scene. I'm just doing a simple blue sky. Okay. Ah, it's very too too dark for the character there. Okay, good. And that's okay. Even even like this will be okay. He's in the desert, maybe. <laughs> and I'm not going to do anything amazing, but I'll just show you now. If I go to the animation tab, slow down my play speed on the bottom right there. Go to play speed. I don't usually change uh, the frame rate. Just leave it at 36. I've got it, and I'll turn this up to about somewhere like 40 or whatever. You see, <laughs> oh, what the hell's he doing, man? He's going crazy. He's going crazy. That bloke's a nutter. Right, let's check what we got. So we've got four frames, and I'm going to erase all the frames after it. Hang on one second. What's going on? Hmm, very strange business. What's going on here? Oh, well, okay. I have to erase everything after it anyway. So we've just got these ones, okay. Um, what I need to do is I need to... Um, I want to make him step back again, so I'm going to add some more keyframes. Right click and create blank keyframe. I'll just add a few really quickly. So one, two, three, four, three, two. We need three and two again. So I'm going to copy those. Copy frames three and two. Copy to clipboard, then paste from clipboard. Two, okay, copy to clipboard, paste from clipboard. Then I'm gonna get rid of that get rid of that last one there. Set this one as the end time by right clicking and then going to set end time. And then I'm gonna press play and it should like look like he's stepping forward and back. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing, he's creating a crazy shit dance. Maybe he needs the toilet. I don't know. And I'm going to slow down the speed to about whatever looks okay. Like, <laughs> I think 10 is the lowest I can have it. 10 for the play speed and 36 here for the frame rate. Sometimes, if you set it really fast, it can start jumping and not playing properly, or it will just like skip a frame or something. You can export a video, or you can, you know, you can uh, just record your screen. I've got this looping, obviously, it's just playing constantly back and forth, um, or playing through basically, it's got copied layers, and what I do is I can speed this up like, faster obviously, I can speed it up much faster, but the only thing is you can only work with us, with us in a certain way, one way is you may uh, want to just um, make a slow recording so it may not look too amazing, but what you can do is then bring the video clip into a video editing software. I have one called Olive Video Editing Software, which I've shown you before. Uh, it's, it's free and um, it, you can change the, the, the speed, the, the, the time speed and duration so it can like really speed things up or slow them down and have a nice smooth flow from your stuff. It depends of course how many frames you've got. If you want to have something really moving very slowly then if you have less frames it's going to look much worse and jumpy. But if you want something that's like fast, it may be okay. But if you want something slow and smooth, you're going to need to draw all of those frames out. And again, remember, you can take time and do better art. This is just a rough, sketchy type of thing. And uh, I want to say thank you so much for um, watching this video, okay? Uh, we'll work on more in another video. You take care now, guys. Oh, remember what I was going to say. Uh, one more thing before I do go. Uh, start a new project just here really quickly, just to show you. Um, okay, I just started a new project to show you with a random uh, scroll. I'm going to show you very quickly here. If you have, if you want, sometimes you can do this. You can like do a, like I said, you can do like a a, a sketch, a scribble, silo sketch. <laughs> get those silo sketches going. You know, uh, get that. Okay. And then within that, you know, you can look for everything. So you know, you can do your, you can do your characters. You know, I can just draw normally. I could just go in here and draw normally. Like this looks like someone's head here. You know, uh, I don't know. It's like someone here. Maybe like uh, let me have a look. 
That could be the head, or maybe let's have a check. Hang on. Yeah, that could be the head, right? So let's just say that's the head. Maybe um, it's a woman or something here. Yeah, woman. She's got some one of those big coats, one of those big coats they wear like that, you know. And um, you know, I can just do something like that. Hands in the pockets, some very long coats, you know, maybe some boots or something here, see, like that. And just fix it up. I can see that, see. I can move that along. So she's like that. Hands in the pockets. I can do that, you know. Oh no, no, oh no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh no, no. But I'm saying, or as I say, you can go in. You can go here and just. Uh, I should have that song playing or the instrumental version while I'm doing this. <laughs> I'm just saying, okay. Um, you know, uh, what I'm saying is you can look at the actual shapes of your study from your 3D figures, so your, uh, your stick figures, I'm saying, like in 3D in your mind. Like I could do a circle here for the head, see, I've shown you before, I could, just, I could just do the next circle here for the body and then all that stuff, the hips or whatever, and then work the legs out, you see. That's what I was basically seeing just now in my mind, I was, I was thinking that, I was thinking like that, you know, I was thinking... So the head's here, something like that, okay. The neck's here, the shoulders are here, the body's here, right, like that. Two breasts there, excuse me. You know, and then the, these are the hips here, see? Boom, boom. And then this one's slightly further in front, and then this one's behind a little bit. And then the hair was going down and everything, you know, and I worked it out like that, you see, in my mind. And I was just working it like that. So when I'm seeing that, I'm seeing the shape properly. Now, and don't forget also, you can also like change the shape. Like I can do this by holding um, control and then dragging. Or I can change like this, you know, I can do stuff like that. I can also flip it like that, you see. You know, and, it, and now it's looking very different. Look, I can see something very, very, very different now. Wow, that's amazing. I can see something so, so different now. And also I can see like parts of this I don't want to use. Like if I go here, I can change this very, still like a woman thing. But I mean, it, it's very different. I can see this here, you know, you can see it's like she's waving a hand almost like here, raising up, you see. That's nothing much, you see, and I can make this silhouette. Can you see that? Can you see that? That's the question. It's not really nothing, see. Oh, I can see that. You may not see that if you you know it it's just the thing, see, and then you, you just work up the legs, move the legs back down there. Uh, again you may want to change this, like make it really in here. The, this is an arm basically going up, see like this, and you just use the idea, look at it, and then you know, change it. You know, but you go and it just, it just, it talks to you. You, just, you, know, you, you, you see, you understand what you're looking at. So you just work out the shapes. You may not want to even use this part. You want to just like change it a little bit. Yeah. There you are, and you've got the input. You've got everything you need, basically. You can change that even more. You can go like this, waving to someone that here. Hey, I'm here. You know. You can go like this, you can go on top of that, see, with a pen, bring it down if you wish to, like that more, and there you go. You can erase certain areas to show like some white if you want to see some detail on the clothes and stuff. On here, but then what I'm doing is I'm just going in here and I can do this. And I can work it with like a light kind of opacity if I want to, still dark enough, but I do detail, see I can work the hair, whatever here. That's wrong, I've done that wrong, very wrong actually, so... I'm gonna, you have to understand where the face is looking, the, the direction. Like this person's looking up right there, so... Something like that. I have this like that. Can you see it's like got lines, it's telling me where the hair goes. Huh. It's telling me, no Richard, you're wrong, do it here. So 
calling out to someone there. Just do a very, very simple face. And, and as I say, sometimes you'll see that things are wrong in the actual thing. Like I may need to resize it. it. The actual thing is right, but it's not the right size, so you need to change things. Because it's not really a person standing here, it's just your imagination. Remember, so you have to just use what you have. In fact, uh, okay. But you get the idea, yeah, it's not perfect, but you get the idea. Um, and you go with that. So this is basically a hand. I don't even like that already, so I'm going to go here. I'm going to make this darker here. I'm going to do some do some basic lines. Let's just work some basic lines out, okay? So I'm going to do this, do some pieces. Boom, boom. Just do some rough sketches, you see. Bam, 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 see. Straight here, boom, boom, see. Straight in. See. The head, you can see the head here, I can see the hair. The ears about here, the hair's here, see, and I can do that like that, see. And it just comes alive, you know, because if you're too strong, I mean, if you're too focused, you know, then it's not going to work. Oh, I, can't, I can't be too fast with these boobs, sorry. <laughs> I do this here, uh, here, okay. Hold on, so now this is a little bit wrong again. See, I need to move it across a little bit. The body, because the shadow is not right. The, um, I mean, the silhouette's not right, is it really? You know. So let's go here. I'm gonna do this shoulder here. Great. Okay, I'm gonna go in here, here. Clean it. You obviously, got to clean as you go. You know, it's like you know, anything you do <laughs> in life. So this is here. Boom, boom. This is here, boom, boom, boom. Okay, here, arm. Okay, you can do these basic shapes. You can make it as like detailed as possible, or as as you like. You know, or you know, or uh, you know, just make it like a sketch, like I'm doing. You know, like a big dress or something here, right? So something like that, I don't know. It's too big, I think. Okay, let's go here. Oh, shit. Excuse my language. In here, here's something like that. And you can just work it and rearrange it. Go to here. Make this a bit bigger. Boom, boom, boom. Go up with a pen. So. <laughs> and then put this down. Just do, do two legs. I've got to work the legs properly. I'm known, I'm known for that shit now. You know, uh, um, and again, as I say, you may uh, feel you've got problems, things you don't like about that even. So, you may want to change certain things about that. You see, like that, or something there you don't like. Everything's too big or something. <laughs> Everything's too big. Go here. You know. And then what you do is you go on top of that and you you do much better. You do a better picture. So I get rid of that, as I say. Bring that down or keep that on there and then go on top of that. And you've got yourself a detailed thing with enough. It looks like shadows almost as well, you know. And you can just literally now go in. And you can just make it still a sketchy style if you wanted to, but at least you've got more information. See, so I could do the big eyes if you want to do the big eyes up, up to you so it's not going to be a great picture i'm not that i always need to take a while to do a really nice picture but you know on certain things i'm going to give her like a big jumper or something maybe it's a very windy day okay so i'm doing that i'm not going to go too crazy with that hold on uh, so something like that okay, something like that I want to make this a bit higher as well as something there a bit higher okay like that see again this is again it's a little bit too um, too long the body is too long I feel like this needs to be up a little bit there or something I feel I don't know something like that but it's hard because we've got to make sure she's not that fat looking. 
I mean, you can, you, if you want to, you can. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay. So there you go. Boom, boom, boom. Put this character there. Boom, boom, boom. See? Uh, the arm. We're going to have the arm here in front. As I say. Hand there. A bit soft looking there. This goes there. Boom. You can have like, a pointy face if you want a bit more pointy like that. But again, the problem is the this angle for the chin is not very good and now it's too small as well. It can be very hard to do sometimes, so I'm just going to do a simple one there, okay. Like calling out. No. Okay, so that's there. It's not very good, <laughs> good looking, but you know. Something like that. Then you get the idea, right? The head's like not big enough as well, so I need to change this. Go there. Just go around, follow it around. So put the two legs there, wrong angle again, boom, boom, boom. About there. Make sure it makes sense, you know. <laughs> and then go there. This hand's waving, so you've got to think, look at your own hot arm, think about your own elbow, how you would have your hand and your elbow and your body, like a real person. Try to imagine, you know. Again, don't make it like too long as well, like, you know. I think that's a little bit too long and not very realistic. So, we started with a, um, we started with the, uh, the um, what do you call it? The uh, what do you, the um, silhouette, and then we finished with. I'm doing some dots here to help me there, uh, and then we finished with uh, an actual character. It's really really hard to draw hands. I think I really have a lot of trouble drawing hands. Anyway, <laughs> rough. But that's okay. And I'm gonna go here. Yeah, okay. And, uh, uh, because this is a pretty easy one, I think the head's a little bit too small, but <laughs> it's okay. Because this is a very easy one, I want to show you a very easy way you can fill this in. Okay, so what we'll do is I'm going to quickly join every line up. You join, make sure the lines are joined up every line around the edge here. And then you want to merge it down to your bottom layer below it, whatever, whatever colour that is. And that's one way you can quickly get the that field, and you can do whatever colours you want to have on on top of that. So let's do this here. Okay, oh, uh, go here. Put that there. Make sure all of the um, lines are the outside lines. I'm talking about the outside. Make sure they are. There's no gaps because we're going to fill it in. Now, we still may have trouble in a moment, we're just going to give it a try though. Looks, ah, uh, hold on. Okay, you may, need to, you may need to zoom in and check. Okay, I think it's okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the... So let's have a look again. So we've got we've got this here. We started with, right, we're going to get rid of that. Uh, we're going to get, we're going to get rid of the bottom one here too. We're going to make a duplicate of this. And we're going to put this one darker. Oh, hang on. Filter to lock. Oh, a locked layer. Turn off the lock. Yeah, if it's, if it's locked. If you can't do anything, check the lock. It might be locked. Um, now, turn down that way. Darker or lighter, or whatever you want to do. Okay, then click with the magic wand. Click outside of that. Should work. No, okay, because the reason being because it's not set to the right layer. So to go to the tools and make sure that it's some um, see it's just limited to current layer it says. So if you want to do that you need to uncheck that box and then you'll be able to do it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna click on the actual line layer but outside of her there. Oh let's unclick. Let's deselect. It doesn't seem like it was right. There was still there's still a gap somewhere. But where's the gap? Let's find it. 
which is really messy, right? So let's just quickly go in and finish those gaps. Here's a gap. Any gaps, you got to make sure they're all closed. The edge gaps I'm talking about. Where are they? Anyone here? Little one here. See, this is the fuss. This is the problem. But, um, okay, let's see now. I'm going to zoom out. Okay. Go to this. Click on the outside. Okay. And now press delete. Oh, no. Go to the layer below it. Press delete. Okay, and you see it just fills everything in. Now go to select, then click on deselect. Uh, we're going to erase those little artifacts we don't want there, those little places we don't want, which are, excuse me, which are here. Make sure you check both layers. Uh, you know, I know it's very dark looking right now, but we're just doing this to show you, okay? Clean up all the areas with these like rough lines, make it nice more cleaner even though it's just a rough sketch it's still nice to do it you know I'm gonna bring those down bring the opacity down of that a little bit and, um, and now I'm gonna make a duplicate of this layer and I'm gonna make one that's lighter and bring this below that one bring the layer below, it's a duplicate of that shape basically and I'm going to use the eraser on full opacity and we're just erasing, we're not erasing the line layer, the line layer is still on top of everything and we're just uh, erasing the, the areas of skin just to do that we'll do the legs as well <laughs> okay. Okay, 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 okay good stuff yeah. again I need to make another duplicate and make this one a little bit let's make it much darker and I can either make the um, okay much darker then I'm going to erase just the, the jumper let's turn those lines up again I think make them stronger here yeah. take it now here uh, we're going to erase the um, from the, the top just make the top lighter and it's the same. It's the same um, method as I say when you're doing the shadows, like we did with the other animation we did with that guy, you know. So that's that. Now I'm going to just merge everything down. So merge, merge one by one. Just these, you know. The the background we can do a very simple. like draw some mountains or something if I want to. Uh, these are on one layer now. She's on one layer. I can make a quick duplicate, and I'm gonna. Um, make it a little tiny bit darker just a little, a little bit okay but visible visibly and I'm gonna erase just to show where the light is okay it's a hundred percent eraser as I say okay the erasers are a hundred percent just just to show a little bit of like light there you know it's a bit of shadow on the side you know and just have that there okay okay and I'm gonna just merge that down with that make her the whole thing that's a little bit lighter as well something like that let's see because it's a little bit too dark I think and then go to uh, the blur very soft blur not not too much just a little bit of a Gaussian blur is called or Gaussian I can't I can't read that word properly I'm going to go on top on another layer with a white pen and turn the layer to overlay for the blending mode just quickly zoom in to the eyes and just give that ugly face <laughs> that's okay just for this video give them um, at least give some white eyes to finish it off at least okay let's just do a bit of that if you don't like you can chop the head off and make a new one <laughs> to cover some things you know and then just zoom out far away nobody will know she's ugly <laughs> merge those merge them down as I say Ooh, we've lost lost the eyes so we need to go with a black pen again just go in quickly choose that white and we'll go for the teeth as well again maybe we can just have a black after all 
because otherwise she's going to look like she's got buck tooth. Uh, okay, so that's that. <laughs> now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give some mountains in the background. What I'm going to do is really, really simple. I'm going to show you. I'm going to choose the lasso tool, the freehand lasso tool, and I'm going to just do some just some zigzags kind of shapes. Look about that. Okay. And I'm going to choose the the brush that, that brush one we have, the um, that brush type brush, the Sumi E whatever it's called. Uh, choose grey. We're going to paint within within that section, okay? Just like this. Hold on, not like that. <laughs> Just paint some uh, shapes in. Make it a bit fainter if you want to, like that. Okay. Put some big, big, broad strokes is best, I'd say. If you want, you can turn her off to the visibility of her layer. I'm waiting for that. It's just taking a while to load because we've got a lot of stuff going on. Don't forget, got the other project as well and everything. You know, but we've got this here, and um, you know, you may think it's a little bit too much as well. You know, you may think that's a bit too much going on there. You know, you may want to erase some of this as well. So I was going to have it like that. I'm going to choose some lights. Um, choose a light brush as well. Just do some light marks there and stuff. Just make it like I don't know, mountains, hills, or whatever. Yeah, I'm going to do black and white. I'm not putting any colour. Don't worry. Deselect all of that. I can, as I say, erase with a sharp eraser and just make it a bit light like that if I want to as well. You know, like that. Okay. You know, and I can actually put some like white clouds in the sky or something like that to another layer, like just white clouds. You know, put a few like shapes and stuff, and then simply go in with the um, maybe even use some like mist, do some like mist on top or something like that, or just do the sky a certain way as well. If you want to do it like that, maybe. Just make it a bit fainter, you know, with some areas. I'm not even going to bother with the blur after all, just kind of have it like that. Um, again, you could do a little bit on top of her, like that, a like bit of mist, like something like that. Uh, make, I'm going to make her a little bit brighter, and I'm just going to save it, okay, and say thank you very much for watching. Uh, make her a bit brighter. Okay, mix everything up. I could do some motion lines to show her arms moving and swaying as she's waving and the hair blowing in the wind. But I'm not going to bother, okay? Flatten image, right click and flatten image. Play with the contrast a little bit. You know, play with the contrast a little. And just save it as an image. And that's that one done. You know. And uh, the animation, we've got to have one last check as well, the animation. I'm going to stop this video at any moment. I'm going to finish the video. Hold on. Um, so as I say, we've got this here. Saving it onto the desktop, this particular image. Okay. It's not a very big image, so it's okay. Turn that off. Uh, I'm going to just check our animation again we just had. Press play. And the guy moving. <laughs> That's the animation we've got there. Okay. That's just the guy moving. I'll say thank you very much for watching this video. You just take care of yourself now. Thank you very much.